Yeah, so video 51, um, what I want to demonstrate today is um, the ability in x y forensics to superimpose sectors. Superimposing sectors is an exciting addition to x y forensics that was added probably a couple of years ago. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it with version 18.6, um, but I think it's been available um, at least 18 months, possibly two years. And obviously this has been filmed in February 2016. So. Um, what it allows you to do is to uh, literally superimpose some bytes of data over existing data, but only in a virtual sense, so it doesn't actually overwrite original evidence. And um, You can use it to sometimes access data that may otherwise be inaccessible due to perhaps um, some faulty byte values um, that aren't present or are incorrect. Um, and using your wizardry, you've managed to work out what the value should actually be. Um, so what I've done, I've created a 500 meg um, virtual hard drive and I've split it into two partitions, um, which are 250 meg each. And if I just go to disk manager here, you can see it's disk two and it's split into two partitions. However, what I've done is I've messed around with the master boot record so that it's not actually accessible data. Um, Windows is seeing the first one as a partition, but only seen it as raw, and the second one it can't do anything with. And in Windows Explorer, if I uh, try and click on the particular disk, it wants to format it. So if I add the disk to XY Forensics, it will initially not be able to do much um, the MBR to the average person looks okay. Um, you might not understand at first glance why it's not working. But um, for those of you that, that know about um, master boot records and um, GPT partitions and all of those kind of things, you'll know that these few bytes down here are the important ones. And of particular note here, that four byte sequence there is invalid and the reason why Windows is misreading it is because it's all zero and that is actually the starting sector um, or the starting sector value or 32-bit value of where the first partition starts and um, and then you can obviously have up to four partitions um, on a traditional MBR disk extended partitions aside and so that four byte region there would be the starting offset of the second partition in this particular instance. But because they're zero, that's why this has been reading like this. So what I can do with this data here, um, and this applies if it was an image as well, if you were looking at an image, if I click to the uh, first offset of sector zero, I can superimpose a sector, which obviously has to be 512 bytes, with some other data, which in this case is a file that I've already created where I've corrected these two values. Um, so it will superimpose the file effectively over these sectors here. So to do that, I just simply right click, choose edit and choose superimpose sectors. And it will ask me for the file that I wanna superimpose, which is this small file here. And what you'll notice when I click open is that these values here will change. Superimpose, superimposition established, and now you've got these values. Um, so if I just bring up the data interpreter for a moment, it's the 32 bit values we're interested in. So if I put it there, you'll notice that the start is 128, and the start of the second one is 512, 128. And if I was to manually go to those offsets, in fact, let's do it. Go to 512, 128, and there it is, the start of the second partition. Now, obviously, if you were if you were up against it, uh, lazy, whatever, you could uh, use tools, disk tools, scan for lost partitions, and that would be recovered anyway. But this is a perhaps a more thorough way of, of doing it. So having superimposed the sectors, you might say, well, where's the data? There's still no partitions up there. That's because we need to take a new snapshot. So to do that, it, I'm not talking about refining volume snapshot here. I'm talking about taking a new one. 
So we go to Tools, Disk Tools, Take New Volume Snapshot. And then what should happen is the partition should appear at the top. And they do. And now I can double click each one. And I've got some data there. And same in this one. I've got data there too. Um, and if I just quickly flick over to um, my type filter and just choose pictures, go to gallery mode, you'll see that the second partition has got the mighty Linus Torvalds. Let me set this optimistically. Don't know why that bit's not working, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, if we go to gallery here, you'll see that there's a load of pictures here of um, Halt and Catch Fire TV show, very good show. And so the data has now become accessible. So what you can now do is say, I'll add that to my active case, thank you very much. And you can navigate through as normal. Uh, you can take the filters off, obviously. Um, and see all the data. <coughs> However, in this case, if you were to just save the case and close it, you would have to repeat that step again. Um, although it would save the fact that these partitions are here, the data wouldn't be accessible. So the thing to do at this point would be to create a new image. So if you'd done the soup, if you imposed the sectors onto an existing image, then you create an image of an image. Or if it was a disk, as in the case here, you just create an image with the uh, imposed sectors in place. And this is where your documentation will come in because obviously your resulting image no one will ever know that those initial bytes at the start of the disk um, were faulty unless you document that fact um, so that's important so what i'll do now is uh, making sure i'm on the tab that represents my actual hard drive i'll create a new image i'll call it fixed I'll just accept all the defaults there. <coughs> I'll go up and do the image, hopefully fairly quickly because it's only small. I will try pausing it, but I always have problems when I pause the videos with this. silence readers getting bored hurrah um, so now I can add to this my image uh, which is here so it's created a small image there's not much data on it and now the image is as though nothing had ever happened. It's all there, it can traverse the file systems as normal. Um, I don't know why that preview is not working, but anyway. Um, so that's that, that's how to superimpose sectors. Hopefully you find that useful. It's a very valuable tool and it can save you a lot of time. It saves you, for example, uh, creating DD images of two terabyte disks purely to fix a few bytes. Um, it's a seriously useful thing to have. Okay, that's it.